Hello guys, welcome to YouTube. You should know TV channel. In my previous video, I have shown you how to download, install, and run WordPress on your local system. So in this video, I'll be showing you how we can secure our WordPress website from hackers. So in this video, I'll be showing you some tricks where we will be changing the default WordPress database name so that we can protect our website from hackers. So for that, what you need to do is you need to run your WAMP server. Click on the WAMP, then click on PHP My Admin. Let it be open. So now we are on PHP My Admin site. So as you can see in our previous in in my previous tutorial, I have created a database called as You Should Know TV. So if I uh, expand this database you would see that all all the entries in the database consist of prefix called as vp underscore so what actually why actually we are securing this is if a hacker comes and try to hack your site so he would know that every value in your database have a prefix called vp so it would be easy for him to hack your site so rather Remain, remain it as vp underscore we will be changing this wordpress default table prefix so to change this prefix default prefix we will be using sql commands as you can see we have 11 entries over here so we will be changing for all 11 en entries so as i have told you earlier that the most important file I told you earlier that the mo most important file in wordpress is vp uh, config.php file so let's open this file and see and now we can see here is table underscore prefix that is the default word wordpress table prefix is already as vp underscore so we will be changing this and en this entry let name it as instance underscore so as we have uh, changed it as instant underscore let's save the file for once control plus s and let's restart the services let it be green as you can see our web server icon has been green so so now let's enter our query over here to replace all the all the vp and pre tip table prefixes so right now as we have 11 entries over here so we will be changing table prefix name for all these 11 entries let's before um, before running any any sql commands please make sure that you select the table that where you want to make changes so in this case we are selecting you should know tv database and under this sql so here we will be executing some queries that will change the tip default table prefix that is vp underscore as we have 11 entries over here that says vp underscore comment meta so we will be changing table prefixes for all these 11 entries for that we are using a command that is rename table vp underscore comment meta to instance underscore comment meta so we'll be performing the same steps for all the other 10 entries as well as you can see that i have entered all the values for all 11 11 queries so after that i need to click on go Now you can see my SQL return an empty result set and everything get everything gets changed. So let's refresh our ph refresh our PHP my admin and let's see whether our changes gets implemented or not. So now you can see that uh, our default WordPress table prefix vp got removed and it says now instance underscore comment meta so we have successfully changed a default wordpress table prefix 
so that was a step that how we can protect our wordpress database from hackers so right now we need to follow some more step that will help us to ensure our website security so, so right now we need to uh, we need to follow two more commands to make it work so the next command that we will be using here is to update the instance user meta that is meta key and replacing it with the name that we have declared in our vpconfig file that was instance underscore we are using this query because whenever we try to log in for the next time in our wordpress the system might get show an error that we are not recognized so to rem to remove that possibility we are using this query over here click on go successfully act affected so right now we need to follow one more query in our you should know tv database so so right now we are updating the option data table so for that we are using the command so all these command that i have used over here you can find this all all the commands below the video in the, you just need to copy these commands that i have shown you and change the name whatever you like so after this query i need to click on go and it says now one row affected so everything goes fine so that was the trick that how we can protect our wordpress websites from hackers by replacing the wordpress default table prefix that was vp thank you for watching our video so in our future videos i will be showing you some more tips and tricks to make our wordpress more secure so in the next video i'll be showing you how we can change our default directory where our wordpress files get saved so how we can change the vp content name to something else so that hackers can recognize where our assets are there on the server so please don't forget don't don't forget to subscribe our channel you should know tv till then bye bye take care and have a nice day